and welcome to the channel. My name is Anna and this is The Random Corner, a channel created so I can share my work and talk about the things that I love like filmmaking, gadgets, creativity, productivity and a bunch of random stuff. Today I want to talk to you about a comparison between the DJI Osmo 3 and the new version which they now rebranded to OM4. To answer the question of those who like me already own the Osmo 3, and are now wondering if it is worth the upgrade, I'll say, mm, most probably not, and I can explain. These devices are virtually identical, with the exception of the magnetic clamp and the increase in payload capacity. Although it is very handy to be able to quickly pull and remove your phone from the gimbal, I personally mainly decided to upgrade given the higher load capacity. With the new iPhone Pro 12 being released, I decided to upgrade for it, and unfortunately it is heavier. The phone has 228 grams and will be above the pay capacity of the Osmo 3, which is 200 grams. Now, if you're watching this video and you don't have any other gimbals or you have an older version like the Osmo 2 and you're wondering if you should get the OM4, I would tell you that I am a bit biased as this is the third generation that I purchased, but I will say probably yes. I have been using the DJI gimbals for a few years now and I even shot a friend's wedding using it. I think they are very portable, easy to use and help your footage look smoother and for those who like me like to shoot and edit videos, I do think it is a great buy. Besides the increase in stabilization, the DJI MIMO app that is used with both these gimbals also offers some cool functionalities that I'll talk about further in this video. Now, if you don't care about any of that and you just like to record some random moments, then honestly you don't really need any of these gimbals as the stabilization on most phones are impressive already. Enough said, let's get to the comparison. Starting with battery life, it is identical. Both can be used for up to 15 hours and take two and a half hours to charge using a USB-C charging port. In terms of weight, the OM4 gimbal weights 390 grams versus 405 on the Osmo 3, according to the GI, and I did check that myself, and although I got one, two grams difference from the manufacturer's information. But one thing to keep in mind is that although the OM4 seems a little lighter, when you add the clamp that has around 33 grams, it actually goes to 424 grams. So overall, it is a little heavier. But this weight makes no difference and it can't be felt when holding or operating the gimbal. The load capacity, as mentioned, is 200 grams for the Osmo 3 versus 230 grams for the OM4. So even if you had an iPhone Max and you were using the Osmo 3, the odds are that you're pushing the motor too hard, but now you can have a slightly stronger motor on the OM4. In terms of design, the overall design is almost identical. They both have the mode record button and joystick on the front and have the zoom button on the side. So the main design difference comes down to the clamp. On the Osmo 3, you have a fixed clamp versus on the OM4 where you have this magnetic clamp, which allows you to place your phone with ease on and off as much as you want. With the joystick, you can make both tilt up and down, pan from left to right, and they both for the app can be used with the rolling or inception mode as it's known, but the OM4 can actually roll a few degrees more than the Osmo 3. None of them turn 360 degrees and most likely you won't even notice the difference between them when creating this effect as they do both a very pretty similar job. They both are foldable and portable and can be used with the DJI MIMO app that enables a lot of additional features. You have the Active Track 3 in which you can select and track subjects automatically. It works well if there are no drastic movements as if that happens it can lose track of the subjects. There is also the gesture control feature where it automatically takes photos or start your videos for gestures. It has a dynamic zoom mode to create a dolly zoom effect. There is also a new panoramic mode called Clone Me Panel where you would take a few pictures with a timer so you can move around to create a clone effect. There is also time lapses, motion lapses, hyperlapses. There is slow motion, there is also the stories mode, sports mode and a bunch of other features and both devices can do all of that. So the last point I want to compare is the cost. At the time of this video, you can purchase the OM4 for £134 and the Osmo 3 for £99. To summarize, as also mentioned at the beginning of the video, they are virtually identical, with the exception of the magnetic clamp and the stronger motor of the OM4. So unless you want to go for a bigger phone or you use this thing so much that you probably get annoyed to be putting the phone on and off all the time, I would say maybe hold on on the upgrade for now. If you don't have any gimbals and are considering to get one, if you can afford the most expensive version, just go for the OM4 as it's definitely cooler to use with the magnetic clamp. 
So this is it. Let me know if this video was helpful to you. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and I'll see you in the next one.